uh, hey, you know you guy, right? <laughs> it's really cool that you just wanted to do this out of nowhere. Alright, so you do know what you're guarding, right? Yeah, walking animatronics. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you are aware about the bug in their system that they see you as a bare endoskeleton, right? <clears throat> now, because there's a rule in their system that endoskeleton is just around the place, can ruin customer satisfaction, they'll try to, uh, stuff you inside an empty suit. But don't worry, the place is really small and they should be really easy to track. Uh, you may notice those two dark halls and those two bright buttons. Yeah, when you see one of the animatronics trying to get in to your office, press the orange button of the door they're trying to get in as fast as possible. This will trigger an electric shock that will fry their circuits, causing them to do a system restart or something. If you're worried that they'll just be more eager to get inside your office, then don't press the button. They'll just get inside and kill you anyways. See? It's better than dying. Uh, also, these electric shocks take a really long time to cool down for some reason. So in the events that you see them rolling around in your camera, you can just zap them right there. Uh, but the shock that make you that you make in the camera aren't that strong as they are in your doors. These shocks will just make the animatronics stop for, a little, for about a while, but they'll become active eventually. Uh, if you flick at the bottom of your screen, you'll see some pipes. Uh, these pipes will frequently leak and you can't trigger shock in the cameras. It's a safety procedure that the security system does. I think that's because it may trigger a chain reaction and will cause the shock to reach you. Uh, now, to think of it, it's not that bad at all. C click on a leaking pipe to fix it, by the way. Uh, I think you got this under control. Just remember to watch the camera from time to time, and you should be safe. Alright, talk to you later, man.